So in this video, I wanted to go over all the different wireless charging options you have when it comes to the new iPhones, like the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and the iPhone X. They all added wireless charging finally using the Qi standard. And so with that comes the ability to obviously use wireless chargers. So what I did was I went out and bought all the different ones that you had out there just to kind of find out what I thought was the best one in case you're interested in it. It really adds a huge convenience to your daily interaction with your phone. And it's really just kind of a sweet feeling to be able to uh, set it down and have it automatically recharging. Now, obviously, you know, Samsung um, and some other Android, I guess other uh, phone manufacturers have been using wireless charging for a while, but it's finally come to Apple. So now it interests me. And um, just using it over the last few weeks, I can say that it's really pretty killer feature. So anyways, what I want to do is go over the different, um, you know, charges I have here, why I think uh, some of them are better than others. And then I also want to cover some of the fast charging capabilities using the new uh, quick charger that you can get for the iPhone as well. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. So here's a look at all the different uh, chargers I bought and been trying out for a while. The first thing I want to comment on is this dock I used to use. Uh, this is docked by Mophie. It's like, it's a really heavy, heavy metal dock. And I used to keep this by my uh, by my bed on my nightstand, but you can see it's a little bit awkward to get on there and I always felt like you were going to snap this thing off. Um, and it takes a little extra force to pull off there, you got to push down. So it was always never really um, an ideal thing to have by the bed to me, but I always like to have a dock because I like the, um, the phone to be sitting up at night. So now with these new wireless chargers, you can just set it on there and you can see here in the video clip, you just set it on there and then the light at the bottom turns green indicates that it's like connected and charging and it's just a really, really cool feeling uh, to put that on there and have it automatically start charging up. So one thing I want to mention that I discovered with these, uh, well, the docks and all the chargers, uh, in fact, I got this silver dock from my wife to use uh, next to the bed and the bummer thing about this one is it stays green when it's charging so this LED just stays on the whole time and it gets to be pretty bright. You don't want an LED just like, you know, blaring the whole time. And most of these are okay, they give you some kind of LED indicator, but to me, you really just want one that turns off or even maybe no LED at all. So then you have these square chargers here, and these were really my least favorite form factor out of all of them. And the reason being is when you're setting your phone on there, um, at least for the regular, you know, iPhone 8 size, I always felt like it was taking too much effort to think about lining it up, either vertically or horizontally. Um, and you can see the weight that the size of this phone, when you're putting it on there, it's like, it's just awkward with the square, a little bit tough to explain. Um, but they have this other one, which is a, more of like a triangle shape. And this one has a completely rubber top here. And I like this one a little bit better because when you do set it on there, there's room for your hands to go around the side. And that might seem like a little thing, but when you're putting it on there a hundred times a day, it does matter. So that one's a pretty cool one. Now the one I didn't like about this one is this front LED here stays uh, red. It's super dim, but you know, and, it, and then it shines green when the phone's on it. So I don't, like I said, I don't really prefer having LEDs on these, or at least LEDs that stay on. So that was a deal breaker for me on this one, but still pretty cool shape. And then you have this really thin, you know, thin disc one. And this one I like a lot because first of all, it was only like 12 bucks. And second of all, this bamboo texture on the front really matches perfectly the texture of my workbench in my garage. So I can just have it set on there and I can just slide that on there and it's just kind of camouflage when it's the phone's not on there. So I think that's pretty cool. This is a pretty good one. Um, of course, you have these Cadillac chargers. I call them Cadillac because they're 50 and 60 bucks. I mean, this one's kind of nice, but the downfall of these to me is the rubber does tend to pick up dirt and lint and stuff over time, so they start to end up look a little bit, they start to end up looking a little rough. I did get this silver uh, dock here for my wife now. She uses the iPhone like an 8 Plus, um, so which wor it worked fine for it, but the problem is she also uses a pop socket and a case. So you see this case here, it actually would work fine on all these chargers with the case. So you can get through pretty thick cases, you know, you just can't get through, uh, you know, if you have cases that have battery power packs in them or um, some other kind of metal or something like that might interfere. But you know, th this works fine with the case. My thing about the pop socket here is most people have that kind of in the middle of their back of their phones. And um, depending on where you have it, you can see it doesn't really fit on the dock and it's definitely not going to charge up. So what she started doing is putting it upside down because you can see there's like, she has about a third of the way down. Um, and it lays on the dock like that. It looks a little crazy and it's kind of not as a elegant solution as putting it right side up. But with the pop socket, it still charges through that. 
actually with these docks, so it's kind of cool. But if you have a pop socket, some more of these other flatter surface types aren't going to really work. If I can get a lower angle there, you can see they're just going to hang off. Even on the big one there, it kind of slides around. And you wouldn't, I don't think you would want it in that. Maybe they'll come out with one that can conduct through there. But for now, that's just another small consideration you might want to think about. And the other thing to consider when you're using these, you know, you can see some of these have rubber on them. Some have the rubber stickers. This one, like I was mentioning, is completely rubber around. And then you have these slick, all plastic ones. And, you know, the thing about the plastic ones there, it's, you can see it's kind of slippery. But this particular big one, I actually kind of enjoyed using it because I could just set it anywhere on there and I didn't really have to make sure it was lined up. It was just a big surface to lay the phone on. So if you're not going to be bumping your phone around, I think something like this works pretty good. But if you have a case, it's going to stay on there a lot better. But I found it to be pretty nice to have a huge surface area. Just throw the phone on there and have it charge right up. It's like, you know, less of a target practice. You can just be a little bit more um, clumsy with it and it will charge up. I just use the regular, um, you know, the iPhone 8 size phone. I don't, I'm not, I don't use like the plus size phone. So if you guys use bigger phones, it's just something to keep in mind. You might want a bigger uh, meteor surface to set your phone down on. My favorite charger actually is this, this little tiny one from Vinsic. You know, I think it's really sweet. You can see the thing about these, a lot of these chargers is the connectors on the back. Use all, I mean, they're either micro USB or some proprietary one like this Mophie one you can see. Um, it separates and um, it goes to an AC adapter. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you want to have one that's more ubiquitous. I would recommend, I mean, for me, I like using the have one that has a USB adapter plug. And so this Vinsic, it's just really nice and lightweight. And I think it's really good for travel and just you know, doesn't take a lot of space up on your desk. I, I find it works really, really well, especially for the regular iPhone 8. Um, there is a little LED indicator on the side of this. It's barely even visible, I'll show you here. And so that gives you a couple different colors um, to feedback as far as what your phone's doing. But I don't know, it's not really that important because the phone, when you put them on these wireless chargers, the screen lights up and lets you know right away. And if you have the, the volume on, it'll give you audio feedback as well. So I think really LED indicator is not really that important. But like on this dock one, it just adds a cool little effect with it being a bar LED. I think it's really cool. And then I just want to show you how the big iPhone sits on the small puck. So if you have the bigger iPhone, you're probably not going to want to use that small tiny disc. To me, the best thing is to get one of the dock chargers or uh, one of the bigger flat charger here I, I really like. And that's really all I have to say about wireless chargers. Like it, my favorite one is this Vincic one, and you can get that for like 12 bucks. I will put a link in the description below for all these chargers, and w uh, along with my favorite recommendation. And the other thing is I'm going to keep that list updated. So whenever you're watching this, I'm going to have that always like the best chargers, that wireless chargers that you can get out there. I'm going to have um, them updated in those links. So definitely check those out. So there's a reason why I didn't talk about the wattage of these all these different chargers, and and that's because I found in my use that it's not really it's not really that important. Um, yes, the higher wattage chargers will charge your phone faster or charge your battery faster. But once you have a few of the chargers around, you're always kind of setting your phone on the charger anyway. So it tends to stay very, very highly charged. Like I never usually see my battery under 90% unless I'm out on a trip or something like that. So uh, I don't think it's really that important. Now, if you are in situations where you have to really charge your phone fast, um, you know, Apple makes their USB-C type um, charger and that in my experience I have one and I've been using it I don't know where it is right now but it, in my experience it does charge the phone up about 40% faster on average and in my research that's about the case too so you know if you still want to go with the old school plug and you really need fast charging then I would get one of those plugs although it ends up being really expensive because it's like 75 bucks because you have to use their cable so one other quick tip I want to mention that I do is I, I don't know if you noticed but I keep my license double-sided tape with some uh, scotch double-sided tape and I keep that on there because when I get ID, I just pull out my phone out of my pocket and can show, show the person real quick. Um, you can also pull it off here if you need to actually give it to somebody. So it works, it works really good. And um, the, the reason why I bring it up is because I um, didn't know if it was going to be able to charge through your IDs, but you know, it just has it charged through cases. It will charge all the way through um, your driver's license. So that's, I don't know, I thought that was a pretty convenient tip. Um, the other thing too is um, if you get this 3M, this 3M double-sided tape, which is a little bit thicker. It's good for a lot of these chargers because they're really lightweight and they tend to move around when you're putting your phone on them. So just put a little bit of this tape down and it will really secure your charger in place. So just thought I'd share that other tip with you. 
And um, that's all, finally, everything I have to say about wireless chargers. I hope, I really hope this helped you out. Um, you know, now with these new iPhones, the 8, the 8 Plus, and the, the, the 10, or X, I like to call it the X, uh, it's cool because it's completely wireless. I back this up completely to the cloud. So uh, all my data is up on the cloud and my phone's backed up there. So I never have to need to plug it in for that. Now I have wireless charging. I never use the lightning port for charging. And I get the, if you have the awesome earbuds, which I highly, highly recommend, the ones that Apple makes, those things are amazing. So, you know, with that, I never really have to plug anything into my phone, into my iPhone, which I think is a pretty cool thing. Thanks a lot for watching to the very end and you all take care. Thank you.